to Season 7, Episode 36 of Rocket, Rocket Corner. Corner. Just so you guys know, there's a choir concert Tuesday, May 16th at 7 p.m. There is a senior banquet Wednesday, May 17th at 6 p.m. The senior grandparent parent breakfast is Friday, May 19th at 8 a.m. And seniors, remember to wear your senior shirts and bring your cap and gowns. Thank you. Physical night is May 16th from 5.30 to 6.30 at the Pandora Family Physician. Congratulations to Andrew Suter for breaking the school record with a vault of 13 feet and 9 inches. Andrew, how does this make you feel? Good. Thank you. Congratulations to Isaac Stahl for becoming the new record, record holder for stolen bases in a game at 8. The high school boys baseball team will be playing at North Baltimore um, against North Baltimore on May 16th and be there, be square. Now to National Day. So it's sweetening your taste buds with a dose of delicious nutty fudge on National Nutty Fudge Day. Um, it's a very sweet piece of fudge that tastes a little bit bitter and small sprinkling of nuts on top of it. This actually what represents the nutty fudge, the nuts of course. Um, they come in different flavors like chocolate, vanilla, or something more exotic like a cheesecake if you find that. Um, it's a very simple treat and it's easy to make but um, it has a lot of nuts in it so if you're allergic do not eat it. Do not! So on May 12, 1949, the Soviet Union had lifted the Berlin blockade, which the Russian powers had succeeded in circleism with the Berlin Airways. Basically, in a, to get it done quickly, they basically had just dropped supplies for Berlin, even candy. Yeah, mainly Hershey bars. Now to question of the week. Mr. Rucker, will you miss the senior class of 2020? Oh, yeah, in general, some more than uh, others, you know. That's... Who are you going to miss the most? Hmm, who am I going to miss the most? Emma, probably Emma, yeah. <laughs> well, what, what boy are you going to miss the most? What boy? Uh, Weston, yeah, Weston. What Mexican boy are you going to miss the most? Gael. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Mr. Rui. Will you miss the class of 2023? Yeah, I actually am. Aww. I'm going to miss my cousin. That's about it. <laughs> this is class. Will you miss the senior class of 2023? Yeah, I will miss the senior class of 2023. They don't have like a, a big reputation of being like a real loud and crazy class, so it's always nice when you just have an easy low key class. Mr. Spacing, will you miss the senior class of 2023? I'm really going to miss the class of 2023. I mean, Brayden Hagemeyer, he is just amazing. And Mitchell. But just the whole class of 2023, I will miss them very much. And I was thrilled to be their class advisor. Yes. Now to sports. Welcome back to PG Sports. For baseball on Friday, we have a game at Plotting starting at 5. And Saturday, May 13th, we have Ada away. For track, Friday, May 12th, they have the BBC meet at Liberty Benton starting at 4.30. And also for softball, they have tournaments this week, so good luck to them. Welcome to some NBA Playoffs recap. We are here with round number two. The Celtics and the 76ers are currently tied at two in their series. And the Suns and the Nuggets are also tied at two in their series as well. Now for the goal on New York Knicks against the um, Heat. The Heat are leading the series 3-1. But we do have a game at f uh, game five starting at 7.30 tomorrow. And the Lakers are up 3-1 against the Warriors. Could this be the end of a dynasty for the Warriors? And there will be a game five at ten tomorrow. Well, that about wraps up the NBA playoffs recap. Hey, Will, do you hear that? No. Hello. What do you mean? Oh, 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 o
back, everybody. Today we're with the Autumn Schulte. Autumn, how are you? I'm great. Autumn, what was your favorite high school memory? Waterboarding Elam. Autumn, what is your favorite class? Physics. Autumn, what is your favorite fast food restaurant? Well, that's a tough one. I'd say for around here, I'd say Taco Bell. Wow. Noble. Autumn, if you're going to college, where, I where am. is it at? <laughs> Uh, the University of Cincinnati. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> Autumn, who's your favorite teacher? Uh, Mr. Rui. Just a great guy. So, what's your GPA? Uh, 4.0. Golly. What are your plans after high school, other than college? Uh, like what am I going into? Yes. I'm going to go into chemical engineering. Okay, final question. Everyone's been waiting to hear this from okay. you. Okay, okay. If your parents got divorced, <laughs> who, who would you live with? Your, your mom or your dad, and why? Dad, because he's never home and I get to do whatever I wanted. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Oh God. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today, Mitchell and I are going to talk about stairs safety. Whoa, be safe. Did you know that more than 12,000 people a year die from falling down the stairs? And more than 200,000 people a year acquire injuries from falling down the stairs. That's a lot of people. You know what's worse? 97% of those people are elderly people. Your grandma, your grandpa, your great grandmas, your great grandpas, dead on the stairs. We gotta teach these people how to be safe on these death traps. So, when you're walking down the stairs, always make sure your hand is on the handrail. Never walk in the middle and don't skip stairs or go too fast. So anyways, so anyways I told her, and I was like, whoa! My legs! I can't feel my legs! Oh my god! Melanie! Melanie! Two of the leading causes of stair falls in America is going too fast and skipping steps. For example, oh man. I'm late. Be smart. Be safe. Remember, stairwell safety. Now to a PSA. Well, being the captain of the PG Esports team has been nothing but awesome. It has allowed me to gain important leadership skills and teaches me how to be the leader of a team. Not just this, but esports has also taught me how to figure out a solution to a problem inside of the game itself. Strategic knowledge is an important skill to have, and these games allow me to think through a certain action and its resulting consequence, and how to outsmart an opponent. Finally, esports gives you a chance to use the skills inside of the game in the real world and opens up opportunities for new careers that you can explore yourself. So Brando, how has esports affected you? This preview to what esports would possibly be like has been such a fun experience. I participated more in class and I've been more focused. I also increased my technological knowledge. I've learned the basics on building and repairing PCs as well as navigating through the multiple different games that esports has to offer. Overall, I like it a lot. So, Will, how has eSports benefited you? Well, uh, being in eSports has given me a boost in self-esteem. I have also seen improvement in focus and staying, staying along with uh, getting good grades, uh, along, with, uh, along with meeting new people along the way and building stronger relationships with friends. For this week's birthdays, on the 14th we have Matthew Fria, on the 15th we have Lily Frizel, on the 17th is Macy Wilson, and on the 18th, CLI.